Now that we have an idea about what artworks are and what properties they have, let's talk about how our design elements work. For now, I'm going to hide these grids because when you're not working with them, they are kind of annoying to have around. So after that, just come down here to the posts artboard and let's talk about it. If we select this artboard, as we know it before, it will be highlighted on our layers panel. But right now, let's see what is inside of this artboard. And in order to do that, from our layers panel, instead of clicking on the name, if we double clicked on the name, we could have changed the name for our artboard or any layer that we had. But we just double click on the icon and we are auto zoomed in to that artboard and then we have these three groups here inside of our artboard so this artboard is created by these three guys here group top as i selected on my layers panel it is highlighted on the artboard group bottom down there and group content we can say that these guys are a group because of their icon. So then again, double click on the name. You can change the name of the group. Just click on the icon here. Then the groups will expand and we'll see what is inside of them. So now we have access to every individual element that is creating these groups. If you are so new to designing tools and programs, there is a concept that you need to know and that concept fits Adobe XC as well. Every element, every shape, every rectangle, every group, every component, everything in Adobe XD is treated as a layer. Let's see what does it mean. I'm going to select this guy named status bar and as you can see it is highlighted on my canvas it has a green decoration around it meaning that it is a component the second one it's a component and it's highlighted over there the third one the fourth is a group as you can see I can expand it by just clicking on here and then access to what's inside of it we have two text here you can see the icon text all right i can do this then we have post students rectangle line and other text here this rectangle this rectangle and then again i can say that they are a rectangle because of the icon and then this image on the back so as I'm selecting these layers on my layers panel, a decoration would appear around the layers on the artboard. But let's see how do they work. Arranging these layers is so important. The order that we define for them will decide what elements would appear on the screen and what elements would go on the others. Let's select this layer called overlay i'm gonna just call it overlay from now on not the complete name which is overlay layer so as i select it we can see that a blue decoration appears around it in the artboard and let's see what would happen if we mess up with the layers stack here so i'm going to click and then drag it one layer up here Oops, the design looks already messed up right now. So the rectangle layer, which I'm going to call it a rectangle, just that, is now under the overlay. And for that, we can see overlay instead of the rectangle that we used to see it there. So rectangle layer, if we select it, we can see the blue decoration around it, but since it's under the overlay now, it won't appear completely. All right, let's move it up again one time above the text about. And nothing happened because these two, the text about and this overlay rectangle has nothing in common. So nothing happened. 
but let's do it one more time I'm going to move it up here and then boom that text is disappeared from my artboard right now the overlay layer is selected so if I just click and then drag it down here you can see that the text Lucy Lee is right there all right but it, when it's here we can't see the text because it's one layer below the overlay if we move overlay all the way up here you can't see the rest of the design everything as you see would go under it this is a very important thing to have in mind especially if you are completely new to designing tools sometimes you design your elements out of the order and when you want to arrange them on your artboard the elements you want on the top goes under the others and stuff like that would happen so now you know why it is happening all right and you know how to fix it there is also another ways in order to fix this problem another faster ways this was just a concept that i told you now that overlay is selected i'm going to right click on the selected element and i have this menu here i have those four operations over there and each of them do the job that I did right now on the layers panel. Here, yeah, you can see the shortcut, it's right over there. And let's see what it would do. Bring to front moves our layer all the way to the top of the stack of layers, as you saw it. Right now, nothing is visible, it's above everything. I'm going to undo what I did, Command Z let's explore the other options right click we have bring forward and as we do that it just goes up one layer so bring to front goes all the way up to the top of the stack bring forward goes up one layer send backward would send it back one layer and send to back would send it all the way down to the bottom of the layers stack I don't want this design I want the original one and right now the overlay is not visible but it is selected on the canvas we have the blue decoration around it so it is visible but it is under everything so if I right click because of it's selected right now when we do an operation for example bring forward it would apply that to the selected layer in this case overlay so right now we have the original design and that's what I want because it looks so cool here you will learn the shortcuts in time and you will do this process without even knowing that you're doing it but I wanted you to have a concept about why this problem sometimes occurs before we go on there are also some features that you have for your layers in the layers panel we're going to cover two of them one of them is this hide icon here if i select it it will be hidden it comes in handy when you are designing on a crowded artboard and you don't want to see the rest of the design or you might want to try some alternate options here I'm going to show it and also you can access it by right click here you have hide and also from the object menu you have hide then again inside so you had three ways of hiding a layer the other one is lock and this one is very useful I'm going to lock this and as you can see that lock icon would appear at the top left of our elements it's very useful when you are designing on the top of the other layers because it prevents unwanted selection or movement for the locked layer here let's say we are designing on top of this layer overlay 
and then I can't move this layer around, I can't even select it. So it is very good and very helpful. So I can walk with other layers on top of it and if I accidentally click on the overlay layer, nothing happens. I can unlock it by just clicking on this icon here and then it is unlocked. We also have the access to this feature by right click, lock, you can use the shortcut as well. And also then again from the object menu, we have lock here as well you will be working with layers all the time make sure to organize them and name them for big projects it will save you a lot of time every element that we work with is treated as a layer and it's very important to have that in mind as I told you especially if you're new to all this maybe you design something and then you design something else on the top of it and they overlap each other so organize your layers and name them. In the next video we are going to learn how to move our layers around and that's the most important thing as a designer we always do that. So make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to catch up with the course. Thank you.